Hey folks, this is Vince with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to check out Grim Knights. This is a game that you can find on Steam for about three bucks. It's important to note that I just got my press copy, so this is going to be a first impressions video. With that being said, I have played off camera for about 15-20 minutes, and I've got the gist of it. It's a fairly simplistic town builder slash defense kind of game where you build up a town during the day and defend it from the undead at night. Options menu. You've got master and music volumes. I do have the music off for the sake of the commentary and to prevent copyright issues. Over here on the right-hand side, there are screen resolution settings over here. Okay. When you start a new game, there's beginner, normal, and veteran. We'll click on beginner. And we have to basically survive for 13 days and nights. If we lose our tavern and population zero, we lose. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on these people. And unfortunately, you can't zoom. That's one thing I don't like about the game. You can't zoom in. Um, but yeah, you can click on these guys and a build menu pops up down here. You can also see off to the left-hand side what they're good at. Eats more to stay tough. Consumes twice as much food, plus two to armor. This one is thick skin, weak legs, plus one to armor, moves 20% slower. All right, so uh, on the upper left-hand corner, there's our resources. We've got a population cap, food, lumber, stone, iron, gold, and whatever that is. I don't know. Um, there's also this moon that you can click on. It fast-forwards to hour 20 to fight the undead. Upper right-hand corner shows you the current day and hour, and also a mini-map. There's also a tooltip toggle on the very top middle. And lastly, on the right, enemy codex. You can see what's coming up or you know, what you've seen so far, that kind of thing. Let's go ahead and uh, begin with a house so that we can improve our population cap. And villagers will automatically come, so as long as there's population room. Uh, I'll put a windmill down, sure. And barracks. Put one of these down, maybe over here. There's a mine entrance. Go ahead and put one of these down. Mines are fairly easy. Uh, basically, they will spawn a tile underground. And once that happens, I'll show you where you go from there. You can also click on existing buildings and upgrade them, assuming you've got the resources for it. This one moves faster than average. So uh, let's get them chopping. All right, new villager, just the normal gal, no perks. All right, yep, you chop. And you chop. Now, they don't have to carry the resources back or anything like that. They just automatically generate resources, so as long as they're doing the work. If you want to uh, harvest food, you right-click on the field itself. There we go. Clicking on the little ladder button will just bring them up here. It doesn't actually do anything as far as I can tell. Okay, so this mine is finished. We right click on the ladder, come down here, and now we will be able to right click on tiles that are around it in order to reveal more things. All right, barracks is done. If we want to turn someone into a uh, actual soldier, then uh, we want to click, say, this spearman or this archer symbol. Uh, archers are definitely the way to go so far based on, I've, I've only played up to, I think, day two. But the archers were far superior, and they did very well. Uh, speaking of which, we need a guard tower for them. We're going to put that maybe over here. Actually, right here is fine. All right, so our population is six out of six. Let's go ahead and upgrade a house. We're down to 15 wood. That's why I'm having so many people concentrating on wood right now. It seems to be a, a resource that you use fairly early in the game. Oh, look at all this. We've got, um, looks like iron and stone. Okay, now this guy, nothing special. There was a guy, though, that was good at mining, so I may want to have him do that. Yeah, this guy. Excellent stone miner. So if we ever mine stone, which there's some on the surface, actually, we can just have him mine that. Which, we'll go ahead and, do we need the stone? It seems like we need lumber now. So we'll have him do that. Oh, new villager has arrived. Again, it would be nice to have some sort of zoom. Oh, really good at farming. Well, we'll go ahead and have him do that. Take this guy off farming. And 
maybe he'll cut this tree down over here. Population is now 7 out of 9 per the upper left-hand corner. It is hour 10, the undead come at hour 20. And again, we can skip time to get 3 gold per hour skipped, but I kind of want to get our economy going if we can. Alright, so we revealed an underground stream has been found. Not sure what that's all about. It looks like possibly food, a food resource. So upgrading this tavern will increase the level of your town. So um, there are certain buildings you can't build yet. If I click on the new villager coming in. And he builds and repairs twice as fast, so he's got to be our builder now. Um, so if we want to build, say, a stone terrace, we can't do it. We need a village level 2. Um, this bell tower requires level 2. Wooden spikes requires level 2. And gunpowder mill requires level 3. All right, well, as a builder, I'm, I'm thinking a temple would be a good idea to have. Put that there. All right, we're at uh, 8 out of 9 population, so we may want to consider upgrading this other house that we have. There we go. That reduces our lumber to three, but we've got enough people chopping wood that we'll hopefully recover that pretty soon. Ah, there we go. Train this person to become a skilled healer. Uh, that costs ten food and ten gold from the looks of it, if I'm reading that little icon right. But I don't want to do that with this builder. I, I want him building stuff. New villager has arrived. Actually, let's just have him, yeah, maybe explore these areas down here. Right click. There we go. Faster than average. Moves 20% faster. That might be a good trait for an archer. Alright, so we're on hour 13. Pretty soon we're going to have to train an archer or two, and maybe a spearman. I made the mistake of going all melee, and uh, the first wave spawned these bloaters, which exploded upon death. So most of my melee was injured or killed right away, and I was like, oh, well, that's bad. Gold has been found down here. That's a good sign. New villager has arrived. Top skin, plus one to armor. At this point, I'm not exactly sure. All right, I guess we'll start training some units. Hour 14. Let's go to the barracks. It takes a little bit of time to train, but not a whole lot. Thick skin, weak legs. All right, maybe since he moves more slowly. Hmm. Nothing special. All right, fine. I don't want to use people that are good at mining for combat, for example. There's someone else coming. Sturdy and slow. Again, he might be a good melee character if he's moving slow. All right, we'll go ahead and train the spearman. Ten food, five wood, and five iron. All right, what I can do is um, I put archers in the tower anyway. So I may I may make him, this guy an archer since he's not going to be moving much in the tower. So, all right, we now have a new spearman. We'll go ahead and put him out front so like so. And we'll make him an archer. I'm going to make a couple of archers, I think. Alright, 
bring this archer over here. Now you can retrain them. Notice there's still a little spearman icon below them. Upgrade the house so we've got more room. New villager has arrived. What's he good at? He's good at chopping wood. Alright, well in that case... Let's get someone that is good at combat. Just a normal gal. Eats, to, consumes twice as much food. Um, let's go ahead and make this guy an archer. And we'll use this guy that's good at chopping to chop these trees. A rabbit hole was discovered. Oh, so I'm guessing this is just a food source. Yeah. We're gaining food from this. These rabbits are jumping out of this hole under here. And it looks like our guys are attacking it. Five food per rabbit. That's not too bad. Kill the wabbit. Kill the wabbit. Kill the wabbit. You didn't see that uh, Looney Tune cartoon? Guess not. Watch your Looney Tunes, kids. Five food. All right, let's get this guy. Oh, he's good at that. All right, what's he good at? Nothing special. All right, well, maybe we'll have him come up here and become maybe a healer. And this guy is good at building and repairing, so we'll have him continue this. I, I keep forgetting. Right-clicking on a different level won't work. You have to actually go to the level and then right-click on the building that you want to interact with. There we go. So you become a healer. There's our archer. We'll put him here. This guy's new. A qualified iron miner. Well, let's go ahead and have him do that then. Alright, we're starting to see plenty of wood at this point, so I'm maybe content to move some of them. Like, this one's a stone miner. We'll go ahead and have him mine some stone. And this guy... Thick skin, weak legs. Uh, maybe we'll make him an archer. Looks like our healer is ready. We'll go ahead and move him over here. Hour 18, so um, stuff is going to be happening fairly soon. Oh, that's right. Right click. There we go. Okay, we do have someone out here doing this uh, faster than average. All right, let's 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 bring him back. I don't want him out here. Just because he's faster, I mean, I don't think that would make a good melee character. Okay, so we need to mine more gold. Um, let's go ahead and get someone off. Yeah, let's stop stop cutting trees for a little bit. We've got plenty of wood now. Faster than average. Uh, sure, we'll just move him down this ladder. And yeah, you mine that. Do you mind that? Alright, hour 20. We should start seeing some activity here pretty soon. 
Got more villagers that showed up. This one, uh, not too strong, but very deadly. A perfect archer, I think. The tomb is growing restless. This guy, plus one when mining any stone or ore. Well, um, let's have him mine gold. And we'll take this guy off of that. Come back up. Hmm. Undead or moving... Okay, leaving the castle ruin. Alright, got another archer. I still want a melee. Someone that has... Someone that has, like, plus one armor or something or other. Although I don't see anyone that has that. Okay, so that tree's gone. This one is just a normal gal. No perks. This one, plus two in farming. We want to leave that one there. Well, um, I guess we can make him a spearman. He moves fast, so maybe he can intercept things. I don't know. I prefer to have someone with armor, but... We just, it's not in the cards. Go ahead and upgrade that. Alright, so we've got our first set of incoming here. What are you shooting at? Oh my gosh, we expand, oh. I did not know that was possible. That's bad. Well, alright, guys, guys. Shoot that. You can't, that's one thing I don't, they're, they're aiming for underground All right, let's leave two there. We're gonna have to move. Two. We're gonna have to move all of our melee over here. Oh boy, this is bad. Yeah, get up there. Now, if they're gonna stay on that level, then we'll be okay. Whoa, that was a that was a bloater that blew up there. All right. Yeah, we're gonna need. We're gonna need. Uh, okay, those guys are fine. All right, that's an archer. We want our melee to go down first, I think. There's a spearman. There's our healer. There's another spearman. This guy is a qualified iron miner. Uh-oh. Oh, our healer is getting beat up. Okay. Um, we survived that. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, at, le at least we're okay now. Alright, let's bring our archer back over here. I don't think we need them. There's another archer. Alright, let's get back underground and get back to iron mining. I hope that was the last of them. We might need another healer for our healer. Just saying. Alright. New villagers. Tough skin. Alright, we definitely want another melee. And this guy... Plus one mining any stone or ore. Well... Let's go with... Let's go with iron. That tree's used up. Guess we'll come over here and chop that one up. This guy, yep. Come melee, please. Thank you. So I think we lost someone down here. I think it was our the, the guy that could build quickly. I think we lost him.
they are trying to hit these rabbits under here, which is annoying. Let's get someone off off this and just go after the rabbits. Yeah, stop stop mining for a minute and kill these rabbits so that the archers aren't distracted. <laughs> That's a bug that needs addressed, clearly. Alright, that tree's gone. Let's come over here and chop this one. New villager. 100% more health points. I, I would be another great melee, but I, I at this point, I want to stick to... I mean, these bloaters are nasty customers. No, not the rabbits. There you go. Yeah, kill the rabbits. Until this rabbit is dead, our archers are going to go after it. There you go. Nice. Alright, day two, hour two. So that should be the end of that wave. There's a few scr uh, stragglers from the looks of it. All right, new villager coming in, and there's one here. That's the hit points I was talking about. Um, let's use them to gather more resources. Um, this one can get gold. Um, you know, we'll take the risk and expand. When Oh, plus one when farming. We want that. Now that we've got more population, we're going to have to... We're going to have to worry about food. Let's see if we can't repair this. Nice. Wow, those arrows really push them back. Nice. Alright, so it looks like we'll need another house. All right, so I guess we'll reveal that. And let's have one unit take a break from iron mining. We need gold. Or actually, you know what? We'll take a break from tree mine. Yeah, and we'll build more houses over here. We've got plenty of wood at this point. Ah, we've got a potion. We can drag it to one selected unit and left click to administer. Well, we might want to do that with our um, healer, to be honest with you. Stone mine has been found. Keep on moving. Go ahead and upgrade this. All right, so I think you guys get the idea. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and save the game. And we'll come back to this in another video. So stay tuned. If you guys haven't already, subscribed to my channel. And check out my official website, www.dadsgamingaddiction.com. This is Vince. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.